The trial of William Samoy Ruto and Joshua Arab Sang before the International Criminal Court continued from 18th to 20th June 2014 with the testimony of the 19th prosecution witness who testified under the pseudonym P0613. The witness testified under the protective measures of a pseudonym, facial pixelation, and voice distortion. Parts of the testimony were given in private sessions, closed to the public to preserve the confidentiality of the witness's identity. During open sessions, the witness testified about political rallies during the campaigning period for the 2007 Kenyan presidential elections. He said that he attended two PNU political rallies in Moyes Bridge and Turbo Town that were disrupted by Kalenjin youth. The witness further added that following these two incidents, no other political rallies were organized in Tarabo Division, and he himself didn't feel safe. The witness further testified that on 31st December 2007, groups of Kalenjin youths entered Tarabo Town. He saw several houses belonging to Kikuyu's burn, but was too far to see who started the fire. The burning of the houses in Tarabo Town went on for five days and more than 50 houses and shops belonging to Kikuyus were burned. The witness father said that he had also seen houses being looted. OTP trial lawyer Lucio Garcia, who was examining the witness, presented a series of photographs and a video of burned houses and properties in Tarbo town, which the witness identified as belonging to Kikuyus. You mentioned uh, that houses were burnt in uh, Turbo town, Turbo center. Um, did you know what happened to the Kikuyus who were living in the Turbo town prior to the post-election violence after their houses were burned? They flee to Turbo police station. Did they remain in Turbo police station? Yes. And do you know in what kind of conditions uh, they were living at Turbo police station? Yes. They were living in tents. Can you tell us approximately how many people were there living in Turbo Police Station? There was more than, than 1,000. Did you personally see this? Yes. I went there. In what month of in what year? 2008, January. During the cross-examination by Shamala Alegandra, defense counsel of Mr. Ruto, the witness confirmed that on the 28th December 2007, Mr. Ruto was announced as the winner of the parliamentary seat for Eldoret North in the Kenyan parliament and that he was an obvious choice and a favorite candidate among people. During the election campaign, the witness said, there was a perception that President Kibaki would rig the elections, despite the wide perception that Raila Odinga would win the 2007 presidential elections. The witness further confirmed that there were only two people killed in Tarbo town, but she couldn't confirm the council's assertion that Kikuyus and others from IDP camps had come back to the center of the town to loot. Madam, you saw Kikuyus coming back to take belongings, am I right? Some, uh, they were burned, but the shops which were in front, most uh, the, the others were taken, uh, they came to collect with police, and the others, it was looted by Kalejin and it was burned. And they who came with the police to collect things, the day is Kikuyus. Yes. And when they came to collect things, you say here, you don't know whether they were taking their things or whether they were taking somebody else's things. Yes? All right, there's a confusion no. there. Let, let's start afresh. You also said they were looting things. Who are you referring to by they looting things? Uh, I'm referring to Kalenjinud because uh, I managed to see uh, when they were looting things. After that, they destroyed 
the houses or uh, I saw them carrying call sheets. The trial continued on 24th June with the testimony of the 20th prosecution witness. Already in 1923, Lord Chief Justice Heward said that it is not merely of some importance but of fundamental importance that justice should not only be done but should be manifestly and undoubtedly seen to be done. The ICC shares this vision. Publicity of proceedings is a key principle at the International Criminal Court. It is explicitly stated in the Rome Statute, the ICC founding treaty, that specifies that the trial shall be held in public. One commonly asserted reason for prosecuting international crimes is retribution, which is the fact that the perpetrators of these crimes deserve to be punished. Similarly, but from the other side of the equation, is the argument that the victims of such crimes deserve to see justice done. At the same time, suspects and accused have the right to public proceedings. However, the principle of publicity should never jeopardize the security of those interacting with the court, such as the victims and the witnesses. In order to ensure their security, confidentiality might be necessary. A chamber can decide on a case-by-case -case basis that special circumstances require that proceedings be held in closed or in private session to protect witnesses and victims participating in the proceedings or to protect confidential or sensitive information given as an evidence. 